What's up collectors, the wait is over. Six months ago after releasing version one of the Pennywise bus from the 2017 blockbuster hit, Ben and Laura went back to the drawing boards to shape, mold and refine their masterpiece into what you see now. You'll float down here. We'll float down here. Yes we do. So what I love about what they've done with the new Pennywise bust is they've got translucent teeth. I've never had translucent teeth in my life. Is that, is that a thing? It's amazing because compared <laughs> to the other Pennywise bust, chiseled and painted. Um, look, I think the thing about this one is they've nailed the look. I think this one, it's, it does look like Pennywise. It's not too bad. It's, but I understand they didn't have, uh, you know, it only had screen grabs from the trailers yeah. and stuff like that. Whereas this time, they had the whole film, they could go through every scene, analyze it, bring it in and do the actual sculpt to a T. And the sculpt in this one is unbelievable. Like, I'm not sure if you're absolutely getting it in the screen, but when I look at this thing, it looks like I'm looking at the thing from the movie. Whereas this one, I'm not, it, it looks like it, but, it's nowhere near the quality of this sculpt. Um, well, as you can see with both sculpts, this one's a bit more fatter in the face and they have a bit more of an elongated face like Pennywise has in the film. Mm. That was pretty cool. And if you look on the side of the face, because you were pointing this out before, they've got the veins protruding out of the skin just on either side, which yeah. is fantastic. I love how they have the effect with that. And the, uh, the eyes are a little bit off on this one too, which, which follows the film yeah. more. But like, how he's got that crazy this, eye going up and the exactly. crazy eye going yeah, this, down. Yeah, this particular eye is heading off one way and this one's heading on the next. Um, yeah, but for, for comparison wise, I think this is the obvious winner. Yeah, this no is the winner, definitely. And you can see also with the clothing, what they've done, it's just more puffy and I think it does capture a lot. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm happy with both. If you're gonna get either, it's up to you which preference, but uh, yeah. I think they only actually released two of these in the world, and now they've done four, and we were lucky enough to get our hands on this. The hair, now let's talk about the hair. I was told that, oh, it smells good? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> the hair actually took three hours to hand punch it pretty much through this weaving on top of the head and then stick it down, mm. or netting, sorry, just through the netting on it. And I think that sort of gives a bit more of a, uh, a realistic look, and it is human hair. Mm. This one's quite orange. Yeah, it's pretty it was, nylon or whatever. Yeah. No, yeah. no, it is human hair as well. Oh, really? And this was stuck down, yeah, it is. Remy single run, silky state here. But with this one, they've really gone into it and sort of stylized it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I love the hair on this one. It's unreal, unreal. especially from the back. It looks like it could be someone's actual head. Mm. Definitely a step up from, say, polystone hair, where they actually sculpt the hair. I mean, no. that's one something I hate. No, I don't. So, I mean, for this to actually have real hair, it's you know punctured in the the, the eyes and the and the actual mask, like you know the, um, the painted on mask. It's it's unbelievable, and you can tell that they've had more time to spend on that sort of stuff with looking at the the way this is detailed around the corner here and the way this one is detailed. They can tell it's more of a curve, and yeah, for me, this one is the obvious choice winner. Well, look, for a company like Father Phantom Studios to come out of the waterworks yeah. and start creating these masterpieces for a fraction of the cost what these bigger companies just throw together and mass produce, you're getting top quality. It's a bang for buck. So, guys, hit up Father Phantom Studios, speak to Ben and Laura, and they they do customs as well. Yeah. You can think of something and they'll create it for you. a custom of Draz's head? This is how we do it. Yeah, how about not? So you guys have it. This is our review of Pennywise the Dancing Clown from the blockbuster movie It from 2017. Uh, this comes from Father Phantom Studios. And if you like what we do here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, we'll catch you nerds at the movies.